Hi, and welcome to this short Renderman Studio tutorial. As a lighting artist, I recognize the importance of being able to quickly assign and preview masks for different objects in your scene. And though you can get away with manually creating necessary connections and adding attributes one by one at relatively small scenes, in production it can become like being lost in a dark forest inhabited by evil creatures. While working on some complex scenes, you have no time and no desire to do this by hand. So that's where custom Python tools come into play. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, on my custom shelf and open up my ultimate RMS mask picker. Here we have a selection of 8 mat ID channels 0 through 7. If you open up Advanced Renderman Controls, it's here, you'll see them uh, on a final outputs, at channels outputs on Mat tab. So here they are. So color Mat ID zero corresponds to Mat ID zero bottom, and so on and so forth. So. What we need to do is to select them all, then right-click and create one output from channels. And be sure to deselect open uh, XR as RGBA checkbox, and I'm gonna re rename it so it will be more like human readable, so it will be masks channel. We need to do this only one time in each scene you are working on. So, I'm gonna close Renderman Controls and, and back to R2. The way it works is, first you select some objects in, you want to assign masks to. For example, those crates. Then you select the channel in which you desire to, to see those objects. It will be Mat ID 0 channel. Thirdly, you select color for those objects in the selected channel. So, I will select red color. And then just click Attach. So that's it. Uh, now these boxes are gonna render red in Mat ID 0. So let's assign some mask to other objects in the scene. So. I'm gonna want this uh, concrete block to be mat ID 0 and green attach. Then this palette, I'll, I want mat ID 1 and blue and attach. Then this pumpkin, I want to render in mat ID 2 and red and attach. And this truck, I want to see it in Mat ID 7 and red. Attach. It's time to render image and see what we got. But be sure to first click on this box right here and uh, make sure that we are rendering to image tool and that you have for those show. AOVs and split multi-channel AOVs checkboxes enabled. So I'm gonna hit render. My image tool will open up. And so we can see the result. If I expand this, I'll see those channels. So here are red boxes in Mat ID 0 and a green concrete block in my ID 0 and red and so the other channels as well and those are black because we haven't assigned anything to them and in Mat ID 7 we can see our red truck so great but that's not all so to quickly check if this channel has any objects of red color, we select it, select mat ID 0, uh, then select red color, and hit select. 
So immediately we can see that those crates are selected in our viewport. So it means that those objects are indeed gonna render in our MetaID 0 red channel. So if I click MetaID 1 and select blue color and hit select, I'll see this palette is of blue color. And if I select this and the green color and hit select, I'll see the warning that says selected channel doesn't contain objects with this color because we, we've assigned uh, something to our red channel. If we select red and MetaID Met ID 7 and hit select, we can see our track is being selected. So that exactly corresponds to what we can see in our render. If we want to remove, for example, this crate from the channel it belongs, we can either set its color to black, so we can select black color, then my ID 0 channel, and hit attach, so it will render, but it will render completely black in this channel. Or we can just to select it and hit detach. To quickly check if it's worked we can once again select our red color, meta ID 0 and hit select. So this box we can see is no longer will render in meta, in meta ID 0 channel. To, to check it just render this scene again and we can see it's it's completely black uh, in our MetaID 0 channel. Now we can render our images to EXRs, open them up in your favorite compositing package and use those masks where we have rendered to call correct those images. I will post a source code of the script so you'll be able to just add it to your custom shelf and begin using it right away. Bear in mind though, it's only version 0.1, so you can expect some minor bugs. And if you do find them, please be sure to notify me either via comments or on my blog at rukzin.com, where I explain in detail how it works and will post new and updated versions of it. So that's it guys, thanks for watching!